Around 2008, I started releasing music on Beatport and iTunes and uh, Amazon and all the digital distribution networks where you typically release electronic music. And I had a little bit of guidance from some local producers that had been doing it for a long time, but it never really seemed like the guidance that I needed. It was always very dry, very stern, involved a lot of memorizing things that they had written. And it wasn't until I joined the Recording Connection and got hands-on and worked with other artists that I really started to grasp the concepts that I'd been trying to memorize for such a long time. All the settings of a compressor, like the attack and the release and the threshold and the ratio, and how to use those on a vocal versus using them on an instrument to make something sound more attenuated or to make something sound more flat, were all things that I was having a very hard time learning how to do um, on my own or with the guidance of the, of the, the locals around me. Um, so when I joined the Recording Connection and got to actually utilize outboard compressors and, uh, and EQs on individual channels, I really began to understand how to effectively use them in different contexts, and that is something I will always attribute to the Recording Connection in all my future productions.